it's been a while and I am back, I think, maybe, at least for this video. So, hi friends, it's Michael. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of explanation and discussion on painting the Sekiran battle tank. Please enjoy. I am here to try and tell a little bit of a story. This isn't so much of a tutorial as it is a... Here's how I went through this entire process and I'm getting things done type of video. So uh, please enjoy. Please let me know what you think. This isn't going to be all of it because there's still some work to do on the tank. But hopefully that just means that there's a uh, part two coming soon. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, and like I said, I think I'm back for now. Anyways. The first step here was to prime the model in black, and then I went over it with a variety of silver metallics, including GW Lead Belcher, uh, Vallejo Chainmail, and then I tried to hit the highest spots in, I believe it was Runefang Steel for the highlights. Next up, I tried to hit the bottom areas of the tank in Bad German and Tear Ghost tints. Uh, this first layer is just plain blue. Uh, this is to get the deepest color on the tank near the bottom, and we'll highlight up from there. Here I've gone in with uh, Ghost Tint Plasma Fluid and done the first of several layers. Uh, the more layers you apply here, the more uh, the color deepens and the more intense it gets, and you will see that in the next uh, section of video coming up. Here you can see the final Alpha Legion colors on the tank itself. I'm going to go in with Vallejo Air uh, Black to paint the uh, treads on the tank now in preparation for further weathering. Uh, I like to go, I tend to go dark on my tank treads just to make it a little bit easier to apply all the weathering pigments later on, and I personally think it looks a little bit better than bright silver tanks uh, to each their own, but on this particular Sakarin, I'm gonna go with the black uh, tank treads. So you can see me here applying. Uh, the Vallejo Air Black. Uh, this, I do think, is going to take me a couple of layers to get the nice black that I want, uh, a good decent coverage. Because it is a air paint, um, but it's also not a difficult task. It is actually kind of pleasant just doing the same area on the tank multiple times. Um, nice and relaxing painting. In this clip, I am trying something a little bit new that I haven't really done before. I'm following Cult of Paints uh, tutorial here on how to do weathering and chipping with a paintbrush instead of using sponge chipping. Um, I believe this was in the uh, Sons of Horus Contemptor uh, video that Cult of Paint did. Um, Andy goes through the entire process, and I tried to match that as best as I could. And here you can see me continuing to do that. Um, I think in the end I ended up going over uh, some of these chips with a highlight color to try and make them pop a little tiny bit and make them appear a little bit more three-dimensional. But for my first result, uh, for my first try here at this particular technique, I was actually pretty happy with the final results, which you're going to see in the still image coming up now. And now we move from work in progress to the final finished and completed tank. Uh, this is because I am really bad at remembering to video myself while I am doing all of these steps. 
uh, but I have a little bit of footage coming up and I will explain what I did uh, in each of the steps for you guys to follow along if you so choose. For the tracks, I followed Vince Venturella's uh, tutorial on his Kratos uh, video. Basically what that, Im what that means is applying weathering pigments uh, to the tracks while dry and then using water to set them in place. I did varnish these and it dulled all of the pigments, so I had to redo them. A closer shot here of the weathering and the decals. All of my tanks are marked in three digit uh, configurations, uh, mysterious and unknown as per Alpha Legion. Uh, this is a mix of the Alpha Legion transfers and the numbers are from fallout hobbies uh, i am missing a number four in the appropriate size for the front there which is why you see that it purely says eight zero uh, but that's something for me to fix at a later point in time here's a slightly closer look at the turret uh, the main portion of this was painted in i think it was pro acryl uh, blue black I may have gone over it with a couple of other colors. Uh, it ended up looking really nice. Uh, the Volkite Sponsons that I used here, I'm actually really happy with. Uh, for the Volkite Glow, I tried to go in with uh, P3 Heartfire and then did some Pro Acryl Orange on top of that to try to get a glowing effect going. Here is some final video of the tank set up in my lightbox. Uh, with this miniature, I tried to make it as grounded as possible and make it look like it could be an actual realistic military vehicle. So I went pretty heavy with the enamel weathering, the normal weathering, the pigments, the oils, uh, pretty much everything. Uh, and I hope you enjoy.